Ah, new Twitter messages from all my friends. Oh, hey, this is Jared Hill um, from the App Podcast, and Twitterific 2.0 is freaking awesome. Um, just downloaded it today, and I've been playing with it. And let me tell you what, um, it is amazing. If you've not checked it out yet, you have to get this app. So we're actually going to take a look at it, but um, gosh, just hats off to the guys over at Icon Factory, Twitterific, who put together Twitterific. Um, this app is just amazing. The UI on it is intense. So we're going to take a look at it. Um, I definitely recommend you check out this app. They dropped the price from $9.99 down to $3.99, make it a little bit more competitive. So uh, we're going to take a look at this app. So we'll be right back and we'll be looking in depth into Twitterific 2.0. Oh. All right, so we're going to launch Twitterific, which is amazing. So let's check this out. Let's wait for it to load up. Nice sound effects. I can, uh, that's just kind of a notification that plops down. Um, so I'm looking at uh, my recent Twitter messages that have came through since um, the last time I launched the app. And there are some really cool things like when you click on one and it highlights it 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 uh, darkens it a little bit and adds these lights to the side which is amazing I love it um, click on each one and it does that um, you can click on and an, on a person's icon and uh, and get their information um, and see the full conversation that has to do with that um, with that Twitter message so one of the one of the big issues before was when you click on a reply sometimes those replies don't make any sense because they're in reply to another conversation that's already started and uh, so this app uh, Twitterific will actually show you that whole conversation um, in a row right there which is really nice um, let's go back to the beginning here into the settings and uh, Twitterific 2.0 um, has the ability for multiple accounts. Um, what's nice is you can set icons for those multiple accounts so that you know which one is which. Um, uh, or if you were to look at all of them at once, uh, the icon would probably show up too. Um, so you can view the public timeline. You can set up your own accounts here. Um, you can do some searches and then it shows the trends, the most recent trends. Um, Let's go back even further into settings. We've got themes, different notification, uh, sound effects, refresh scroll, um, the left-handedness uh, controls, which uh, were in the last version. Um, and then in the advanced, we have even more settings, uh, which are basically, you know, what you want it to do when you tap the avatar, double tap or triple tap, um, which photo site you want the, your pictures to be uploaded to, whether it's TwitPic uh, or there are three others um, that you can choose from as well. Uh, for adding bookmarks and stock tags, you can set that up with stocktwitsordelicious.com. Uh, confirm app launch. I mean, there's there's all kinds of settings in here, and they did a good job of kind of separating them as to not make it overwhelming, um, because with all those settings, they could easily make for a very overwhelming settings panel. Um, so now we've looked at this. Let's see how easy it is to add a new Twitter account. You just simply click Add, put in your uh, username and password, then you can click your account type right here, where you have multiple types of um, of icons you could choose from and then there's two different services as well down at the bottom that uh, Twitterific will work with. Um, you can set your current options for that Twitter account to see whether or not you want all of them to show up in the timeline or just mentions um, and that's kind of nice as well. And then there are some advanced settings here. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about that you can go over to uh, Twitterific.com. They actually have a website for that now. Um, so it's not, I mean, you can go to Icon Factory's website, but Twitterific.com has uh, its their own website now. So really just as easy as putting your username and your password in. Um, you can uh, add new types of searches as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so these are searches that if it's a search you do often, you can save it so that you can do it multiple times without having to go in and re-enter that information each time. So being able to set 
your uh, accounts if you have multiple accounts and then um, specific searches as well which is really cool so let's get out let's get out of there and go look at uh, uh, my account here so um, right here you can see very large very small or medium size I like medium size here um, so if I double tap on on an item here just like before it brings up the entire conversation and up top it says conversation thread to kind of uh, let you know where you're at um, sometimes yeah there we go uh, what's really cool about this interface here is that um, it's really easy to maneuver and remember what tab you're in. If I wanted to send a new tweet, I just click there. It's a white background, an orange background for replies, and a blue background for um, for uh, basic private messages. And uh, it's really easy to keep that, um, you know, to tap these without hitting anything else. So you could hide the keyboard too because sometimes you're replying and you know you might not remember exactly what the original message was or something. So you could hide the keyboard, which is really nice uh, to get that out of the way. Um, obviously, click send when you're done. You can add your geolocation by hitting the little target there. You can add a picture right there. Um, and so let's get back into. You can select a, a comp part of the conversation and. You, there gives you a lot of different options here as you can see you can retweet it and all that stuff I'm not going to go through each of those individually um, because they're explained right there so really really cool you got your refresh button down here once it does that it gives you the nice little cute notification noise again which I really like um, really cool sound effects to go along with the amazing user interface um, so Simply click there to create a new tweet. Um, obviously, because we hadn't selected anybody's name, we don't have the options for at replies or uh, direct messages. Once again, we could hide the keyboard. Close that. Um, if we select one, we have all of our options right here. I can go and view the author's page. <laughs> That's an interesting one to uh, click on. And it gives you tons of information here. Um, and it's really nice how it's set up. I mean, just amazing. So, from right here, I can go and view all of my uh, account information, all of my at replies, as you can see here, um, all of my direct messages, all of the tweets that I favorited. I can go and view um, my posts oops clicked on the wrong button there and then I can click on tweets that I marked so um, this is really cool I mean the way that this is put together uh, it's gonna take you a few minutes to get used to because there is so much and it is different but they really did their homework and a lot of people I know were thinking come on icon factory where have you guys been have you been on vacation or you made Twitterific one and just kind of took off because it's been a while since they've done something with their app but as you can see uh, they have spent their time wisely really putting together an amazing Twitter client my only complaint is that it doesn't interface with ping.fm because I use ping.fm to update some of my other social networks um, using a, a Twitter client but I don't really care because it's it's just such an amazing clean app and I couldn't imagine them doing anything better with this app because it's just so well put together all the way down from the functionality to the user interface um, everything is so clean it just really speaks loudly for their company and the quality of work they are not the type of company that's going to just do little updates all the time when they do an update it's going to be really nice and so you can always expect quality stuff coming from icon factory so make sure you go check out not only just twitterific um, 2.0 and and buy this the 399 version it's worth it um, obviously they still have the free version as well uh, twitterific is also available as a client uh, uh, twitter client on the mac OS X platform and then uh, Icon Factory, the makers of Twitterific, also have some other cool applications uh, to enhance your Mac user experience as well. 
So that's going to do it for the review of Twitterific 2.0. If you are not a subscriber to the app podcast, then shame on you. You need to open up iTunes right now, click on podcast, do a, do a music store search for the app podcast and subscribe because it's free and you'll get all the updates. You can also visit us at the apppodcast.com where all these video reviews are. We release them daily. Uh, and they're great quality, just as the one that you're looking at right now. So thanks for checking out this review of Twitterific 2.0. Hope you're having a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.